Hi guys, welcome back to The Crafty Couple. Today we're going to show you how to make three tabletop fire pits made from all Dollar Tree items. For the first fire pit, we're going to need to stain three tumbling tower games. And the stain that we'll be using is by Minwax and it's in Dark Walnut. For the base we used four stir sticks. You'll want to line up the blocks just to see where you need to cut the stir sticks. So we ended up doing eight blocks long and three blocks wide. After making your mark you're going to want to measure where exactly you had that line. Mine ended up being around 16 inches and that's where I cut each stir stick. To cut the stir sticks, I just used a saw from the dollar store. I would recommend getting a little bit better one. This one ended up kind of breaking just after a few uses. After the first stir stick is cut, I just use that as the template for all the other ones. Now that all the stir sticks are cut, we just need to secure them together. The way that I secured mine was just the extra pieces from the stir stick I'd cut off and I just hot glued them and put four just evenly across the whole bottom. Now that the base is finished, we're going to start gluing on all the pieces. When you move on to the second row, you'll want to offset each block just to give it a nice pattern. When you offset the row, you will end up with a little bit on the end that just needs to be cut. Now that the building is complete, we just need to stain the very bottom where the stir sticks were. Now that it's finished, we're going to put three fuel canisters in the bottom. Use whatever blocks you have left to fill the bottom. Then we use these white rocks that we got from the dollar store to fill the top. For the next one we'll use this bowl that we got from the Dollar Tree 
and this white Waverly chalk paint that we got from Walmart. Here's what it looks like after one coat. As you can see, there's still the blue from the original color. So we went ahead and added two more coats. All right, now that we have it all painted white, we're gonna take this Minwax Dark Walnut Stain and go over the entire bowl. This is gonna give it a little more dimension. The reason I like to do this is I feel it gives it a lot more dimension and more of a concrete look than just leaving it as a plain white bowl. To complete this fire pit, we'll use the rocks that we got from Dollar Tree and this fuel canister. For our last fire pit, you will need four of these Dollar Tree signs. Just make sure to take off the picture hanger on all of them. For the bottom two layers, all you need to do is hot glue the bottom one to the top one. For the third layer, you need to take out the whole backing so it's just a hollow piece and hot glue it onto the next one. And then just repeat that for your fourth and final layer. Next, we put the fuel canister in and fill the rest with Dollar Tree rocks. Here's another look at the three fire pits. Let us know in the comments which one's your favorite. Thanks for watching guys. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time we upload a new video.